to you who sets foot in this shrine. Oh, well. Cry on a shrine. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. We're doing good today. We're, we're playing the Vidya games. That's the second time in a row that we've started an episode, and I've been just, just head in hands. <laughs> head in hands. Yeah. It's a, it's a disappointment thing. He is, he is disappointed. I mean, yeah. So, experience. so like Alex started uh, both of those episodes, uh, both this one and the last one, and I'm just disappointed in him, you know. Yeah, my parents have told me the same thing often. <laughs> Shout out to mom and dad if y'all are listening. Shout out to you. Love you, Christine. <laughs> but, uh... But, yeah, were we talking about anything important before this? Probably okay. Not. Well, we're talking about Breath of the Wild 2. I'm totally switching gears. New episode, new, new <laughs> thing to talk about. New rules. I think that this item is really cool... And, and super criminally underused yes. in this game. Like, because there's like only three or four places in this entire game where this is like necessary. And like, you can use it to more easily get across like vast expanses of water, but it's it's more here, it's dude. time consuming. Oh, come here! Oh, uh, he, just he say? scurried away. He did the opposite of what you asked. But I feel like it's time consuming to use it to get across water like that. And I just feel like there are some more interesting things they could they could have done with it, like little puzzles, like look, look at this little thing you're about to do here. It's, it's really cool. Look at that. Look how much fun that is. Fun with We're physics. We're having fun. <laughs> fun. I. What is your What is your favorite item? Because I think the item, like the items, are really like interesting. Like the, the the abilities. Yeah. The runes. The runes. The the um buttons. <laughs> the runes. Yeah. Um, you know, I gotta tell you, I'm really. I hate them all. <laughs> I'm really. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Um, I I think that because they're super situational. Well, I mean, well, yeah. The thing about them is they're not super situational, so you could use them in a variety of things. But you you know what I mean, right? I yes. Bet. So like, there's 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 tons of places. Oops. There's ton that probably came through in the. It's, I mean, no one knows. Um, so Ryan probably... just punched the microphone. <laughs> I funny. didn't. I didn't. Welcome. Uh, uh Ryan. Win. So there's tons. There's tons of places where like the game designers are clearly like. We think you should probably use this thing here, and that's what we designed it for. But you don't have to do that. Um, but based on that, I would say that you can definitely tell which ones are the devs' favorites. Oh, for sure. So, like, Magnesis definitely takes it there. Because... Because you like, use it all the time. Yeah, you use it um, in a couple of, of quests. Like, like uh, to get into Divine Beasts... Like you have to use it in the, the only two divine beasts I've fought both have places to use it. Like that you have to use it to complete the, the dungeon with. Right. Right. Oh yeah, that that's yeah, no, that's true. Um so like Bonaboris you have to use Magnesis several times. Um and then you have to use it a couple of times in in uh Bamedo. Um the only no, you have to use it twice in, in Ruta, and I think you have to use it at least once in Rudania. But like uh, Cryonis, there is only one beast that you have to use that in, which is criminal which... because that's my favorite because it ha it's the but it's clearly not the best. Favorite. No, and like the magnet one is the most boring one. <laughs> Like, at least bombs are blowing stuff up. Like, I feel like the magnet one is, is like, you know, oh, it's just, it's, it's a big magnet. Yep. And, and aside from all the, like, the main quest stuff that you use it for, there's also, you know, there's, like, metal chests stuck in the ground everywhere that you have, you can pull out with it. Um, there are several Korok puzzles that you have to use it for. I will say, uh, you do have to use, well, you don't have to, I guess. But Cryonis does come in handy for a few Koroks. 
because um, there's someone, there's some that you have to play basketball with. <laughs> You have to you have to take a rock and and toss it into a, like a ring of things sticking out of the water. That sounds but fun. Most of the time, I don't think I've done one of those. If you either you can't, or it's just really difficult to um, to make the shot, just throwing it. So you you stick a an ice block in the water so for it to bounce off of, which is pretty cool. And see, stuff like that is super cool to me because it's like, oh well, you as a player, you just engineered your own solution to this. Like, clearly, they just want you to do the thing. But you using your res- using available resources, you can be like, mm, I found an easier way to do well, this. Uh, oof. <sighs> well, I got the shrine, I guess. <laughs> I don't think it's saved, though. So Pro- I mean, probably I might not. have to traverse the entire mountain again, which oh I will not gosh, be excited about. Dude. Why would you do that? I'm sorry that I'm bad at video games. <laughs> it's fine. We Listen, have... but uh, it's not that far. It's like right, o- it's like right over the little, the little It's right thing. here. Ryan, stop punching the microphone. The people want to hear you. They don't want to be abused. Well, you know what? D- yeah, please finish that statement. <laughs> please, please, please take that to its conclusion. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually do what it is. So I'm jump off, to jump do. off again. No? Oh, it thought about giving you the climb down option. Can I just... <sighs> hey. well, I didn't die. <laughs> oh, a shrine, dude. I saw dude. And I'm not going to eat any food because you automatically get your health refilled when you finish the shrine. What if you die inside? Then you start over. I'm, okay. just, I'm just saying, wouldn't, wouldn't you feel like a fool if you died inside right now? Well, I let's hope that doesn't happen. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have my fingers crossed. What was the last one that didn't happen? Uh, this is yeah. our last shrine on the Great Plateau. On the Great Plateau? Yeah. No, I, I don't think you got. Uh... Well, no, I guess it is, yeah. I'm just a horrible, horrible liar. Continue, sorry. And Ryan is now giving me the death stare. No, I just had a question for you, but oh. I don't know if it's a question that I should just ask. No, go for it, dude. Um, this is an so, open show. So, well, okay. So, how important it is is it for you? Don't ask me that. To... <laughs> no. What do you say? <laughs> to keep um, where you live private. I mean, people know I live in Hawaii. Okay, so that's so, fine. All right, that that's that's what I wanted to know. So, like, I wanted to talk a little about a little bit about the Polynesian Cultural Center. Oh, okay. Go for it. And guess guess why I thought about that, Alex. Uh, I don't know. Because of the Great Plateau. <laughs> what does that have to so, do with so, the Polynesian so, Cultural Center? Oh my gosh. Um. So for for all of y'all who don't live in Hawaii, um, Hawaii is uh, a not pronounced like that. No, it's not. Um, well, that's just what I say because I I don't want well, to be that, that guy. You know, that's that's the American pronunciation. We also say for for sales. Who says that? Most people. That's their in America. No, they're just wrong. Well, I mean, they don't call the this the palace in whatever France uh, for sales, but they call the city in wherever it is in America for sales. That's not no. no. It's super not right. Ooh, that's a nice shield. Uh, uh well. Messed up, eh, Ron? But anyway, the Polynesian yes, Cultural so, Center. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. That's oh, fine. That's fine. Um, so, so yeah, so Hawaii is, is one of the Polynesian islands. There are se- a lot. Se- well, I, I mean, I there's there's a bunch, but there's they're they're split into to groups. Um, I don't know if they're considered nation. Well. <laughs> Hmm. That's one of the worst it's, deaths I've ever had in it, this game. It's almost as if I predicted it. <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> so, I hope I don't have to reopen that, sh- that chest, because I like that shield, and I don't want to get it again. Um, so, anyways. Um. <sighs> All right, so... <laughs> so, in, in Hawaii, there is this place called the Col- Polynesian... Uh, Polynesian, the Polynesian Cultural Center, which um, ooh, well, I can't use that yet. It's it's just a big old park, really. 
Um, yeah, so the I, I I looked it up on their their website because I couldn't. I want to make sure that I, I got them all. But the um, uh, the islands that are represented in in the Polynesian Cultural Center are uh, Hawaii, obviously, Samoa, uh, New Zealand, which is has the name that I'm not gonna say because I botch it. Yeah, that's how you say it, and I have too much respect for the people of New Zealand <laughs> to, to well, botch it. Well, we're also it. sitting here saying Hawaii. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hawaii is how they is Hawaii. how they say it. It's also spelled with uh, with uh, an apostrophe. Most people don't know that. They don't call it an apostrophe. Yeah. Um, Riley knows and fun the fun fact actual... that symbol is actually considered to be a letter in the Polynesian languages. Yeah, and Riley took Hawaiian while we while we've yes. been here, yeah. so she 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 can talk more about that at a at a later time. So we've got uh, Hawaii, Samoa, uh, the one that Ryan said, which is New Zealand. Aotearoa. Yep, that's it. And uh, Fiji, Tahiti, Tonga, and um, Yo the Sepa, right? Yeah, and the I, I the, don't know. the Cook Islands are there as well, but we right. did not get to see them because right, yeah. there there are so few representatives that come to the Polynesian Cultural Center from there that they're not yeah. there all the time. So yeah. So so the way it's set up is there are uh, little like miniature towns, kind of uh, that are representative of each of these these. Uh, island groupings oh there's also uh the Mar marquesas islands and i know i'm botching that really hard it's in french polynesia somewhere um and i don't know how to pronounce it and i'm very sorry but they are also represented there but anyway you were saying um yeah so so there are uh there's just these little towns and they do these little presentations for you um that are just kind of about like some of the main cultural aspects of of that that island of that that kind of subculture of, of polynesia um and so so like for hawaii uh their presentation is all about the hula dance um which is very interesting um there's like you get to participate in it than yeah you, think you get to participate in a in a very rudimentary hula. yes <laughs> and then they bring up the like actual hula dancers to do like who are the like combinations of all the like all the classically ones. trained right. hula dancers, and, and, and they're you like, feel very inferior because they're really good. Yeah, at it. and and they they take a jab at you because they're like, um, one of one of the versions of the dance is like a very traditional, um, kind of kind of a somber thing, and so when they're up there dancing, they they look like upset <laughs> yeah like they like they keep a they keep a, a straight face yeah um, um this because that's the for for that particular style of dance right. that's how you um, that's just, it's like the respectful thing to do and, and so so the the person giving the presentation goes now some of you may have noticed that they they did not look particularly happy up here that's that's not because well good job that's not because they are having a bad time although they did have to watch y'all do <laughs> Do the dances and let's, and we let's not like, even front the, the park is buddy. the park full of white people like yeah. that are visiting yes. that cannot dance nope including myself yeah um but anyways so like so hawaii is, is the hula uh Aotearoa, new zealand which is um i mean this is gonna sound bad if i say it like this but uh riley and i it's our favorite of the presentations that they give um, it's it's just a really cool one. Um, uh, not to say that we don't like the other ones. Yeah, but the 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 experience you get you get in that particular one is is feels so so different. Yeah. Because of the the manner it's presented in, yeah. but it is it's it's probably my fit. Mm, I don't know. I really like the I really like Tahiti too. The the, the the Tahiti present. We we got to see a Tahitian wedding while we were there, but the first time that Riley and I went, um. We did not get to see that, so we got more of the cultural presentation, which uh, I thought was really fun. They taught us the the unique the unique style of dance they do in Tahiti, and it's basically just uh, for guys. You just uh, do like the wobbly knees, and that's <laughs> yeah. it's basically you really that. Is, you really do. It's fun. Um, and then and then like Samoa is uh, their presentation is all about the coconut because their entire culture revolves around it. They use it for everything. They use every part of the tree, and they use everything in their in their culture is made using coconut leaves. It's and also hilarious. And, trees and such. It's it's very it's very funny. 
Um, time has come to show you oh, hold up. We gotta get. We gotta listen to this great voice acting. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. <laughs> Bosphoramus. Bosfor Can I name my child Bosphoramus? No, Riley will not let you. I'm just gonna put make it a middle name. Desmond. Desmond, Desmond Bosphoramus, Bosphoramus Gray. Sasha. Oh, look at me. I'm a king now. <laughs> <laughs> the great calamity was merciless. Man, I I forgot how much I don't care about this part. Path, anyway, so I, just, I, just, I just wanted I wanted people to take in the voice acting because it's so good. <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> so so they have all these presentations one like separately for each of the cultures, but then at the end of the day, um, I thought it best to if you have tickets for it. Uh, which I believe they are extremely expensive, but we got them this time. Um, there is a a production, a show. It's called uh, Ha: The Breath of Life, which is phenomenal. It's like it a world class show. And if you see any videos of it online, uh, report them because they're not supposed to be yeah, recording no. it. Um, but it, so like. It's, um, I mean, I'll try, I'll try not to give the whole thing away, because if, if you have an, the ability to, to visit Hawaii and go to the Polynesian Cultural Center at any point, then you should definitely go see the show, because it's really good. Um, but it's, you know, it's a story of just a man's whole life, like, from birth to, you know, like, growing up and, and then apprenticeship and starting his own family and his own child, and it's really cool. Um, but for oh, each of this. the different like large areas um, it wasn't long sections, I guess, of made by the hands of his of life, uh, they they incorporate some of that stuff from the different the islands. The yeah, so there's like eleven acts throughout the yeah. whole throughout the whole and, uh, presentation, and, and, and they are represented, like you said, diff representative of, of so different, uh, mainly like the style of dance and and yes. music yeah. um, that each culture. But it, it, I think it's extra cool. Um, like it, it gets cooler and cooler the more of the uh, of the island presentations that you've seen, because. Um, and her appointed knight there's like stuff that they did in those presentations and you get to see it kind of contextually used more similarly to the way it actually would be you know ago, um, yeah. and it's, it was, it's just really cool it's just it's just awesome but anyway so the reason that this whole thing came to my mind <laughs> yeah the, the great like plateau 20 minutes ago um, is because uh, when we it's said the great plateau from across uh, Riley is very passionate about Piloting, things that she cares about like most things she's just passionate about everything um and one of those things is the pronunciation of of hawaiian and other polynesian cultures yes yeah, especially languages, languages that she knows how to speak yes. fairly well because to her it is it is important to pay respect to that language and speak it the right way which it is we're not we're not saying that that's not no but she's she's just particularly yes. like a stickler about. Um, Look at so, that's so cool. I'm sorry, but that's that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, maybe it's less. I'm not. Cool I'm not the first that. one to make that joke, but it's just so funny to me that I have to use it. You seen the edit where he's Kermit? <laughs> it's, what? Yeah, there's like a picture floating around where he's Kermit the Frog. Oh, no. I think yeah, that's great. That is also a little Kermity. Oh no, they're all right now. Ain't easy being calamity. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but so, so the reason that it's called Ha, the Breath of Life, is because that word, H-A, is, that's what it means. Um, and they don't really actually pronounce it as Ha, it's, it's kind of more breathy than that, because it's the Breath of Life, you know. <laughs> oh, I get it. Um, but because Riley cares so much about pronunciation and stuff like that, I decided I was going to mess with her and continuously <laughs> refer to the show as the breath of life, which I have been doing for the past like two or three days. And she gets very upset. Oh, I'm so sad. We talked over that time. line. I didn't realize it was coming up. If oh. the, the fate of Hyrule rests with you. If you guys can look that up, uh, that line is tear. I think she's one of the worst in the game. But anyway, I don't like her um, inflection.
who protected her. But yeah, you've been call- we well, I think we we both been calling it ha huh, the breath the of the life. It was none other than you. Link. <gasps> bom, bom, bom. Link just looks like he's so upset. He's like, "Oh my gosh, we're really doing this whole this whole hero thing again." Why'd you have to bring me back to life? Now I have to do like this whole thing again. I didn't ask to be alive in the first place. Hearing since your awakening off from Princess Zelda herself. 